Hey, it's Yvonne. I'm off to the thrift store because I have a thrift battle challenge coming up on Dominique's channel, Primetime Treasure Hunter, against Joey Bada Bang. So I have some good items, but I'm going to take one last peek because that's coming up this Wednesday. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes at the first thrift store. Well, like I said, I'm on a hunt today because I've got a collab coming up. Um, I do have a couple things put back, but I thought let's just see if I can find something so on my way to my second favorite goodwill I'm stopping at this little charity shop it's been here for about two years and I usually find something good here but I'm pretty happy already because I found another Maltese cross well, this one's just costume jewelry too it's only $5.99 but I've been buying some more Maltese cross this year jewelry and pins and whatnot because um, it's an anniversary of a lot of important dates for the suffrage movement women's rights and stuff so one of their symbols one of the symbols is um, a Maltese cross okay so let's go see what else let me come down this particular thrift store has a jeweler that comes in and prices the better stuff so prices in here are a little hard for resale but if you wanted some awesome things for yourself, this is a great little charity thrift store. Um, like, for, okay, for in, this is really nice. Can you guys see that? Wait a minute. For costume jewelry, that really, it's a tennis bracelet looking necklace though. With little heart CZs, like really nice, $40. It's not set in sterling silver, but that's really nice. Let's see, there's a sterling silver pendant. $40. Now, after a while, they do move, after a while, if stuff hasn't sold, they do move it over to that box and put a half price sticker on it. So I did pick up, not a super, super famous designer, there it is, but somewhat of a following. And it's a Christmas tree and it's sterling silver, little artisan piece. So, anyways, I kind of want that, but I don't want to pay that much yet. We'll see if it makes it to the half price. Thank you so much. I had a great time. Okay. So they also have some more jewelry here I'm going to look at. This is the store where I found the two jewelry bags for $7.99. Um, and I see they have some today. Okay, so yeah, they have some more $7.99 and a couple of $14.99s. So, you know, jewelry bags are getting harder to come by, so especially at this price. So I'm looking these over real well. I probably will pick at least one. You know, the only thing is, like we talked about in this case, this particular store has a jeweler come in. So, you know, that makes you a little nervous to, to you know, because you know, that their jewelry has been inspected but i did find a couple of pieces out of the last 7.99 bag so hmm. let me look these over real well y'all and i think i might pick one or two okay just for fun it's been a while since i've done a jewelry jewelry bag opening so these smaller ones are $7.99, $14.99 and a $19.99 and you know what I really like this basket too it's only $1.99 I think I'm gonna buy their basket <laughs> so <laughs> I bought your basket okay well, <laughs> so, does it have a price? yeah $1.99 well, there you go Difference. hi you guys up this store has gone all out with their Halloween decorations. <laughs> so <laughs> those are huge blow-ups. How much is something like that here? Oh, it's only $29.99. And then they used the coffee shop area that's closed during the pandemic for Halloween costumes. And lots of Halloween decorations everywhere. So this will be fun. I'll pop in and out when I find stuff, you guys, okay? Thanks. Okay, you guys, I have checked all the tops for the rounders on the clothing department I did pick out a few things I'll show you in a minute and this is the last rounder top so you know I'm gonna get this a lot of people don't check the rounder tops look that's only 
So I'm taking those out and I'm gonna get that. And other things I've got from the rounder top is this awesome brass, it's real heavy, brass um, wall hanging piece. And this handmade wooden vase, look at that, $6.99, so beautiful. And this little vintage, um, I can't say it, Bank Thrico. Anyways, these little vintage things are worth a little bit. And a couple of nice pieces of um, vintage clothing. So now we're going to grab this and then we're going to go over and do the hard goods. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, that mission is complete. And I looked through the vases. Unfortunately, nothing for me today. The closest I saw was a Hager wannabe. That's okay, I'm still doing good. So, venturing in some more. I think I'll get this for $1.99. I don't know if this is another Ellie Smith. I've got a lot of this kind of stuff. So let's just keep adding to it. And of course, you know, I've got so many belt bags. Well, yeah, this one's beautiful. Iridescent purple, see that? And the zipper. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna add another belt bag. She's precious, but she is just from TJ Maxx, $5.99. I still like her though. She's pretty big, it's about 10 inches long. I might still get her because you know, that kind of stuff runs out and someone might still want it. I might upcycle it. She's just pretty. Dang, I do not want to start another mermaid collection. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Some Czechoslovakia, I mean, a uh, bohemian glass with some gold frit on it? I don't know. Let's see. It's chipped, darn it. Let's see what it says. I can't really make that out, you guys. Got a bohemian glass look to it though. No, I'm not in line, hun. Go ahead. It's chipped though. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Wow, you guys, look at this I just picked up. It's like phone cord wrapped, back painted glass, some abalone. Wow, that's awesome. Always wanted to find one of those phone cord purses that Crazy Link Lady's always talking about. Oh look, made in Germany. $2.99. That's pretty unique. We're gonna get that. Super cool. Okay. Let's go hit the glass. Okay, I hope the song doesn't come through. Not too loud. It's a nice cake stand, isn't it? How much is it? $2.99. It has a new feel to it though. That's kind of cool. I'm sure that's vintage. It's a little tarnished though, the gold and the silver. Dang, I like it though. Okay anything super great I could use a couple of these for dad they're just newer like Pyrex or something he likes blue we're looking for anything epic anything that looks like recycled glass
Well, you are mismatched. What's going on here? You are new. Oh. Made in Italy. Dang, that paint job is horrible though, you guys. Okay, next aisle. <laughs> this is why this is my second favorite for a store. <laughs> They're a little bit more playful down here on this one. Look how this thing's like seven feet tall. How much is he? $49.99. Now that's fun. A happy dragon. That's fun. Okay, we've got one more aisle of glassware. I am having such a great time. Epic stuff as usual. Um, I might use this one against the thrift battle coming up because Joey Bada Bing has a lot of following um, in Dom's group. And so I think I might add a guy thing. See if I can score some brownie points for that because just on popularity it's going to be a problem for me. I'm going to move this for a minute. Look at this macrame. How much are you? I might get you $5.99. Welcome. I'm going to get that. I think someone's going to like that too. That's evergreen, right? All year round. And since this is the last aisle, I will literally step by step take you guys with me. <laughs> I am looking for just anything unusual. The mug life, um, you can get lucky. I've sold some pretty high-end mugs. If you're new to following me, I'll tell you I've sold a Deneen Pottery Death Wish coffee mug last year for about 150 um gosh i can't remember right now but believe me there are mugs to be found for 50 and up you're not going to do it every day and of course i'm looking for smiley mugs because i give those away to all my friends and family after a while you just kind of know it, you know like what's a kind of a special mug so, all right, let's see what we have here. An M&M cookie jar. Let's see if that's old. A little bit, not, not too old, but a little bit. I'm trying to remember to go slow. Make sure this isn't Bakelite. Dang. I'm gonna put that in the cart. I need to get, I need to phone a friend on that one. I'm not real good at Bakelite. One of the jewelry girls will help me. I'll call her in a minute. See some fused glass. I just shipped out a fused glass plate. It wasn't even very vintage, a little bit. So, I'm never afraid of that. Let's see if this is vintage. Kind of cool. All this Wedgwood looking stuff. Jasperware looking stuff. <laughs> I keep saying, Jasper Ware is going to come back in style. Hey, look, here's some paper quilling. Oh, how much are you? I might get you if you're $1.99. Some people are fascinated by paper quilling. Let me get to that curly cue. Sorry about the glare. I don't even, let me turn it the other way. Nope, there we go. <laughs> it's only $1.99. Maybe even... We're gonna get okay. Carrying on. Let's see. Where were we? Choking looking stuff. What does that say? Shibata Japan. You're adorable, but little tiny hippo. Lennox. 
Like on my look from far away. Let's get down. What is that for? I have no clue. I have no clue what that is either. <laughs> Things you find at the thrift store. Oh, I see something else that'll go with my other black glass. I'm just going to keep adding to it and then someday I'll either use it I'll either use it or sell it as a lot okay corn pipe let's see if this is vintage possibly Tiger, not very well painted. Maybe someone will save you. Broken, but just wanted to see if it had a name on it. You know, just to learn. Uh, we better check this out. That, sometimes this glass is worth a little bit. I think they still make stuff. Okay, so it works, but it's lopsided and I don't know if that could be fixed. I better pass. I like cute boxes if they're cheap enough to send higher end items in. I do sell on Poshmark too. Now I know you guys see me, you see some cute little chaskis and stuff and sometimes I don't bother to pick them up because I know they're cute and I know some of them would sell but probably you know for under $20 and I'm so flush and I, uh oh oh my gosh oh, I thought that was glass it was sitting on that oh I got so excited I thought that was glass or acrylic oh darn okay anyways um what was I going to say? I'm so flush with stuff and I'm running out of time and energy to do everything. I don't want to hire help. It'd be too hard, especially during this pandemic. Kind of hummel looking. So that's why some stuff I'm just leaving for other people. Dang, I really thought. I've been looking at a lot of resin and acrylic stuff. Um, doing research and so I got really excited from far away that's what that looked like, looked like I had peanut butter. UFO ball <laughs> I like that kind of stuff too I just got done watching um, unacknowledged on Netflix it talks about UFOs and what's known and not known and speculations <laughs> it's a pretty good movie or documentary See this chalkware. Four ninety nine. If it was a little cheaper, I might. I don't think that will sell for a whole lot, you guys. You're so cute. Um, that has a etching signature on it, you guys. So we're gonna look that up too. So this Goodwill is one of the few that still has jewelry. I'm gonna look through the jewelry real quick and go over to where they have um, kitchen appliances and look for a pizza maker because I gave mine to Hannah and I need it for my vegan pizzas. <laughs> so <laughs> Here's another reseller thrifty rich tip. If you see one of these at the thrift store, get it. It's a quick and easy way to make pizza without having to turn on your oven, especially good for the summer. It's making one for Steve and me. Veggie, meat and jalapeno for him so it was another great trip i found some really good stuff you guys right so um i hope you had some fun i'm gonna go check for a pizza maker look at this jewelry like i said and head on home so i'll talk to you guys later bye bye well i had to pop back in real quick because on my way to the cash register i found a pair of rossies these should be resale value on those should be I don't know. They look brand new still. 
They cost about a hundred bucks new. And this awesome vintage picture frame that you put candy in and literally it'll come out. So yeah, I'm gonna get that too. Now for real, I'm checking out you guys. Bye-bye.